So thank you all for being here. Um, Groundwork is really excited to have you. And so that folks know, and especially you too, um, this is our 20th anniversary. So we've been around for 20 years and we wanted to have a big, huge party. We have a farm and um, we love to have parties at the farm because it's such a great, cool place in Somerville. And we can't do that. So instead we said, well, what can we do that's special for 20? And so Jordan and myself and the, the rest of the board and staff came together and we said, let's just do 20 virtual events and we just throw out ideas and um and groundwork is a nonprofit here in somerville and you can find us at groundworksomerville.org we're so excited to have you i'm going to turn it over to jordan because she's done a lot of preparation for this and have so much fun and i'm going to jump off hello thanks for coming thanks for organizing yeah totally so um i'm assuming you have shirts and dye and stuff yeah we've got all this down here oh beautiful you're so prepared so I have two examples and then I can demonstrate how to do them. Um, but here's the color contrast is a little hard to see, but there's like a swirl in the middle. Uh -huh. nice. So we can do that one. Um, and then this one, I just kind of rubber banded it all over the place. Nice. Sorry, I didn't have squirt bottles. So we were using coffee cups and dumping. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little harder to control, but it'll go better today. Um, yeah, so do you have like a particular, you can also have like a bullseye going through it if you want. Um, those are the three I know how to do. I can demonstrate all three if you want, or just two or just one, whatever you want. I might, I might go random. Yeah. Go random. random. I think that's the best way to do it. Awesome. <laughs> Mostly like tie dye has no rules. So like, <laughs> you know, um, well, I'm going to show all of the ways just in case people watch the video later. But I'll start with random so you can follow along. It really truly is just random. Um, the biggest thing is making sure that you get the front and the back of the shirt, I feel like. I'm just gonna dye it up or tie it up randomly, wherever you feel like. What colors do you have? Um, we got a bunch. We got what? Blue, pink, yellow, black, orange, and green. Nice. Okay. And so it's been a while since you've tie dyed, so you may not remember. But even if you try to control where the dye goes, it is just going to go all over the place. <laughs> It'll look cool regardless, so it doesn't matter. And it like will look like the design you intend, even if you don't think it's going to. So if you're doing it randomly. It's going to look like this, but all over. A bunch of random little ponytail buns in your shirt. And then if you want to do a bullseye one, you can lay your shirt out and just grab it from wherever I usually do from the middle and let it fall like this and then just rubber band it all the way down. And then when you're putting your dye on, you wanna make sure that you get the shirt really, really saturated because um, all of the little folds are gonna get covered up when you rubber band it. So you wanna shove the tip of the um, this squirt bottle in there and get it really good. Use like all the dye, honestly. <laughs> or be conservative and make more shirts, but the more dye you use, the better the color will look, I think. And how do you recommend like distributing the dye if you're using multiple colors? Um, that's really up to you. You can do like a fun pattern if you like see a pattern in your like where your rubber bands mm -hmm. are and want to do like every other or like rainbow. Um, really, the dye is just going to go all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's going to look really cool regardless, honestly. The best part about tie dye, it always looks good. And then if you really want to swirl it, you're also going to grab it in the middle and just like twist it around a bunch 
it'll be easiest if it's laying flat. So I'm going to do it laying flat. Great. And then you're just going to do your swirl. It's going to look like this. Just gonna want to rubber band it together so it stays and so you have little sections to put your dye in. Um, and with the swirl especially, I feel like you want to make sure you're getting your dye really into the like crevices because you want there to be a lot of color. And so once it's all tied, it'll look like this. Oh, I just did it all together. Yeah, are you supposed to do like like just when you rubber band it, you're supposed to like just do the back and then just do the front because I kind of did it like all together. Either way is fine. So just if you do it all together, just be mindful that you're using like a ton of dye and getting it in there on both sides. Cool. So you'll want to like flip the shirt over a bunch of times, make sure it's all over the place. Got it. Also, a lot of times after you let it soak, it'll be really hard to get the bands off. It might be easier to just cut them off with scissors when you're ready to wash it. Okay. Can I see? Yeah, mine is just mine is just that. Perfect. <laughs> just a yeah. real, real glorious mess. Well, so usually when I do it that way with just like random, I'll do like the part that's in the rubber band one color, and then like right afterward another color, and then like all the random part a third color. Cool. Um, or just you know, go crazy. <laughs> mine looks like this. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So just go ahead, you're gonna to wanna to put dye all over it, make sure it's nice and saturated. You know, what color um, I might do some blue and either, I don't know, maybe blue and green or blue and pink. I can't tell if it's pink or red, ultimately. It'll probably be pink. Oh, that one is orange. I'm gonna try the like pink and green together. Okay. I'm gonna do like blue and green. Oh, yeah, right. so usually once I dye mine, I like to let them sit for like 24 hours or just overnight. Do you try to avoid the inside? Um, no, you can do all of it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna want those gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then just like, just start throwing yep. dye at it. Yeah. Cool. So you can try to control where it goes or just put it all over the place. I think the most important part is just getting dye all the way through the shirt. And I'd even say like go into like the folds and like shove the, the squirt bottle like into it. It's possible I didn't fill these bottles all the way. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No idea how this is going to look. Oh, Sam. That's the great. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Just get lots and lots of color in it. Yeah, I feel like I was like too stingy with rubber bands. You can add more. Oh, yours <laughs> looks so good, Jake. Thank you. It's in progress. The rubber banding is like the worst part. So like, <laughs> usually just like give up before you. Yeah. Well, I did like I did like like five or six rubber bands, and now I'm like I probably should have done a lot more. But there's no rules. No rules. No rules in tie dye. No Remember to get like inside of your, yeah. I think I got it. All right. Um, so I usually let mine dry, like let mine sit in like a plastic bag just so I don't like ruin everything. Okay. Um, and just overnight or until Monday, doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and then that's it, we just tie-dyed? 
you just tie dyed. You're now a professional tie dyer. (laughs) Yeah. Let it sit. And then I usually run it underwater and take the bands off um, before putting it in the wash. Okay. And don't wash it with anything else the first time. Right. Unless you want all of your belongings to be tie dyed. Awesome. Um, can you lift them or will it get dye all over? Yeah, no, I can. I want to see. Lift it kind of carefully. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited to see how they come out.